And with that, we welcome you inside the SSC. Let's take a look at the Kaiser Permanente keys to the match, C-Mac. Well, for UCLA, they've got to protect the pins. The Ben Tilburg on the left, pin and Rado on the right have a big night. Bruins could be in trouble. And for Hawaii, they've got to beat the heat. That's weather the storm. And the Bruins lethal serving. Well, Hawaii opens things up with a lethal serve. An ace delivered by Joe Worsley, the junior setter from Moraga, California. Not a bad way to get things started here. Right away, going at the freshman libero. Welcome to the old MPSF. A battle of unbeatens. Two of the three remaining unbeatens in the national rankings. Michael Martin tried to dump it over on the second touch. High outside set is put down by Dylan Misery, a 6'4 junior from Holbrook, New York. The Hawaiian Tell FCU starting lineups will be scrolling across the bottom of your screen. Hawaii going with its standard lineup. Worsley at the center. Stein von Tilburg, the leading kill attacker for Hawaii. But it's Brett Rosenmeyer getting the first swing from the opposite position, and he sends it long. So 2-1 here, UCLA in the first. Get comfy. We are expecting this to possibly last a while. Uh, these two, two teams have been known to play long matches, to be sure. Oh, Sometimes into the 40s. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Even just last year, here's Rado Parapunov. Averaging 3.25 kills per set. An honorable mention preseason All-American. The Southpaw hammers down Hawaii's second point. And mom and dad woke up in, early in Bulgaria this morning. Nikola and Irina know they're watching, so I'm sure they'll enjoy watching their son play tonight as much as we will. Broadcast going global, as it tends to do with this men's volleyball program, as Rosenmeyer with a good serve. Ma'a sets outside to Christian Hessenauer, it's blocked back. Ma'a then goes quick middle to Danon Jimma. And Hawaii now plays in the transition, and it is Steinbaum Tilburg sending it long, awfully close along that end line. And even SVT a little puzzled at the call. Let's take a look and see how far out it was. It looks like, yep, a good call. Just by a hair. Misery with the serve for UCLA. Middle set. That goes to Dalton Solbrig. UCLA plays it back. It's Misery dug up by Brett Rosenmeyer. Worsley sets up Rado, and he is roofed. Damon Jim, 6'8 sophomore from Ontario, Canada. He is the team leader in blocks, coming in averaging 0.96 per set. He's up there with JT Hash, former Arizona high school player of the year. Solid block. So four serving two. UCLA will try to rip serves all night long. And Tilburg trying to rip that set, but it's dug up by Ma'a. Here's Hessenauer, triple block up. Centered by Misery, middle set, Jimmo right there is Tui, Tui Letta. And then Dalton Solbrink delivers in the middle for the Rainbow Warriors. Here's a great example of how these two centers, Mahi and Worsley, are unafraid to set the ball from the three meter line and fire it up to their middle attackers for kills like that. Solbrink now behind the service line. Three serving four coming up here in the very early pickings of this Hawaii UCLA match. Ma'a goes middle and it's Jimma just rising high. How about the contact point above the net there? Boy, you know what? What he touches? 12-2. Oh Go figure. That's uh, like touching the top of the backboard yeah, in that's, basketball. That's a nosebleed range right there. Man and Jimma. The MPSF and Molten Defensive Player of the Week. As into that set. Now these are two teams that come into this match unbeaten, but not all undefeated records are created equal, right, C-Mac? I mean, you have Hawaii, which traveled onto the continent for the Grow the Game tournament, where they played teams that aren't necessarily brand name opponents. Meanwhile, you have UCLA coming off of the ABCA Men's Showcase that it hosted, where it beat not only Penn State, but also the two-time defending champ, Ohio State, as Rado Parapuna, another monster crush, and it's time to buy. Rank on two different schedules, two undefeated teams, and Rado delivering again. In fact, UCLA already three wins against top 10 opponents this young season. UC Irvine was the first. 
Then fifth rank, UCLA one and five. Parapuna with the serve. Set goes middle. Oliver Martin's blocked. And then another block as JT Hatch gets eclipsed by the tallest guy on the whole east side of the floor and the smallest guy on the whole east side of the floor. That's an interesting block. The button Jeff block, we'll call it, huh? <laughs> Look how Joe Wurzel gets up pretty high there. I think he got a piece of that. The Bruins probably will try to attack him, Hawaii's smallest blocker. 12th block of the season for Joe Worsley. He's got two solos as well. Oh, as Patapuna sends it into the net, we're tied at six. The Rainbow Warriors ranked third in the latest ABCA poll. UCLA second. Open the season in the number four spot. Hessenauer with the serve. The pass by Rosenmeyer. Worsley goes tight yeah. away. The Stein von Tuber. Kaboom. Oh, by the way, Theo and Brigitte from the Netherlands are also watching yeah. at 7 a.m. And they're watching their son do things like that, which made him an All American last year. Hitting 487 on the year. That's huge. And he brings the serve. Ma'a outside, it's Hatch off the block, played by Tuileta. And they're going to call a violation against the way they're going to say that Worsley crossed the center line. What do you see like? Worsley almost yeah. saved that. Nick uh, Gasman was not quite ready for that. He thought Worsley was going to dump it. Instead, Joe said it. You never know what Ma'a and Worsley will do at any given moment. So here's JT Hatch. Goes soft serve on that occasion. Back row set goes to Von Tilburg. It didn't get above the tape. So 8-7 UCLA here in the first frame. UCLA hitting .091 to start. Just two kills on 11 swings and an error. Hawaii hitting 200. A little too much adrenaline for Stein that time. He was trying to bury that ball inside the three meter line. It was a 64 mile per hour offering by Hatch. Worsley able to play it off of the block of misery for a Hawaii point. Worsley is just a bulldog out there on the floor. Great way to describe bulldog. A bulldog with brains. <laughs> High volleyball IQ. He and Micah Ma, uh, you, you know, really were successful at the junior, junior volleyball level. You know, they played in the youth national team, the junior national team. Just so experienced. That's why I love watching this match. Two of the best setters in the country. And Ratre out to serve. 6'5 sophomore from San Diego. He got some legitimate playing time in that Grow the Game tournament where he went for a career high 14 kills, hit 500 in the last victory of that tournament against Lincoln Memorial. That took place in Nashville, Tennessee. I thought Ratre would have ramped that one up a little more. You know, he hits it like 70 miles an hour in practice. Now when there, he hit it about 50. Very unusual for him. Martin, meanwhile, sends it on. So that, that's the risk-reward factor when you are back there trying to bomb serves, right? Exactly. Bruins, I think, had 29 service errors recently against Ohio State and still one in five. Well, they string together aces. They average 1.9 aces per set. That's fourth in the country. Misery gets blocked back. Saved, though, by P. Misery a second time against a triple block. Blocked again. Questionable contact there by Misery, but it's Micah Ma'a able to go off the block and down to get the point for the Bruins. Crowd, they wanted to call on that Misery touch. And this is a, a very highly intelligent volleyball crowd. They know a throw they see when I lift. And they really thought this one was a lift right there. 50-50. Uh, Micah Ma'a, who is known to really wrap up the end H's from behind the service line, but into the net it goes. He put on a show his, uh, his, his freshman year, 58 service aces as a freshman. That was unbelievable. Shattered the Bruin freshman record. All MPSF honorable mention and all academic team last year, Michael Ma. And that set goes to JT Hatch, and he goes deep corner. JT Hatch hits a lot of balls out of the back row, almost better than he does in the front row. Hits that back row quick. That one there hit from the, what they call the B area. And uh, this is just such a quick arm swing and great leaping ability. Dylan Misery, meanwhile, goes long, and we're tied again. We're tied for the eighth time already in this first stanza. And now James Anastasiadis, 6'5 sophomore. 
Born in Cyprus, but out of Huntington Beach High School. Back to serve. Sends it home. The Hawaii's two reserve serving specialists. One serving not enough miles per hour into the net. The other one too many miles per hour and it went low. Now they'll settle down in the second set. So many years this was a conference matchup right in the NPSF. Now Hawaii breaking off the inaugural year of the Big West Conference. And so a non-conference showdown not only tonight but also on Sunday between these two teams Hatch trying to go deep corner did he get a touch nothing doing and that's going to be a Hawaii point we're not at a 12. we do have the review system in play tonight unfortunately between last season and this season as you take a look at sixth year head coach for UCLA John Spra what a decorated volleyball individual he is but between last season and this season we lost the paddles that were utilized to signal for each coach to signal for a replay challenge so when we did the last TV game they used just like a folded piece of paper and they don't even have that tonight so I guess the coaches are going to do the international signal which is just sort of making a square with your hands for any kind of review challenge Michael Ma winning the joust at the net there and a good celebration for the Punahou alum. 6'3 junior out of Kane Ohe. Yes, the son of our own Lisa Strand Ma'a and Pono Ma'a, two UH volleyball greats. It's 14 serving 12. The pass by Stein set Toronto. Set one. He's got to go on that back row attack from the D, D area. Now Stein back to serve. What a pair those two are on the pins. And here's Stein now to serve. A couple of aces on his stat line this season. Two hand pass by Misery. Outside set to Hatch. And we're going to have a net violation against Hawaii. It was Gasman and Worsley going up to try to provide some resistance. It's a point for UCLA, their first of 15. Timeout on the floor. Tonight's Jack Fact, I mean, we're talking about this rivalry, Hawaii and UCLA. They have played some dramatic matches, some dramatic sets. The two longest rally scoring sets in Hawaii history are both versus the Bruins. 30-point rally scoring era was 44-42 in 2001. And in the 25-point rally scoring era, 41-39. That was just last year at Pauley Pavilion. Hawaii winning both those sets and both those matches, by the way, as Pat Gassman goes off the block. Ma'a backside set, Hessenauer, what a dig by Tui. And the set to Rado cross court, pinballed around and return. Back row set, Stein buries it. We're seeing a little bit of everything tonight. Great digs, let's just dig by Tui, let's say back set, pops it up with his hands. Oh my goodness, not many people take on 70 mile an hour heaters with their hands, but Tui does. And the finish to Stein Van Tilburg out of the back row. 14 serving 15. Ma goes D set, Hessenauer dug up by Rado. So Worsley has to bump set, someone has to hit it, it's Rado touching it over. Chance here for the Bruins, Ma goes middle, Oliver Martin dug up by Stein. Little out of sort, Hawaii sends it across. Back row set, it's Hatch. And we got another net violation against Hawaii, so it's a point for UCLA. But we're seeing some D being played by the not so usual suspects for Hawaii. Now time, now time is Rado popping up the ball went all the way up to the scoreboard. Made it difficult to set, unfortunately, for Hawaii. Couldn't get a good swing at it. So 16 serving 14, we are inching along here in set one. Worsley goes D set to Rado and he demolishes it. Fifth kill on his sixth attack. He is flowing right now, C Man. He really is. He's in the group. He's just feeling it. He called this like being in the zone, maybe. I think Rado wants to get every set now. He's feeling so good. How about that nectar put up by Joe Worsley on that one, too? Worsley pretty much delivers nectar every time, just like Ma. Tickles the tape on his serve. Ma going behind the head to Dane and Jimma. 
who gets an unorthodox kill. Jimma hitting 484 on the year. Went for nine kills, hit 500, career high seven blocks in their win against Ohio State last week. 17 serving 15. Maha taking something off, forcing the overpass. Chance here for the Bruins. They go middle to Jimma. He fires it down to the Terraflex, and now a three-point advantage for the Bruins. Charlie Wade realizing that's quite a gamble against a team with this firepower. Timeout, Hawaii. Rainbow Warrior Volleyball on Spectrum Sports is sponsored by Bank of Hawaii and Kaiser Permanente. Welcome back. Largest lead of this opening frame. UCLA up 18-15, and Ma'an serves an ace right up against that end line. And it is now a four-point advantage here for UCLA. A 3-0 run for the Bruins. A lot of times, servers will back off just to keep the ball in after a timeout. Not Micah. This is 11th ace of the season, and then the roof is up on Rado, his first hitting error of this opening set. And once again, Jimma getting the gist of it. The set just a little bit tight and inside. Not much for, uh, not much room for Rado to work. Crowd trying to urge the home team on. And Mata goes into the twine. It was clear, based on the way these schedules have played out for both teams. UCLA already with three wins against top 10 opponents. Hawaii's only win against a ranked opponent. Well, they had two against 12th ranked SC and 13th ranked Grand Canyon. But we thought this was going to be the litmus test of this early portion of the season for Hawaii. Joe Worsley laying out to save that day. And then touched over by Stein. Ma goes high and away to Hessenauer. Got a piece of the block, also got it in. Point for UCLA. But this is certainly an uptick in competition for Hawaii here in the early stage. Well, it really is. Great save by Wurzen to get that rally alive. Hessenauer, who's led UCLA in four out of seven matches and kills, puts that one away. History into the net. 17 serving 21 here. Hawaii needs a run. Dalton Solbrig is back behind the line to serve three aces for him. He's averaging 1.33 blocks per set. That's good enough for fourth in the nation for the first few weeks. And trying to go deep corner, and it spins out of bounds. So five service errors for each team compared to one ace for each team. And it's Jimmo with the jump serve into the net. Gage Worsley, the younger bro of Joel Worsley, now coming in. And he will serve in place of Rado Padapunov. So for at least a few, a few points, Charlie Wade's hoping for many points. Hawaii will have two liberals in the back row. Here comes a southpaw serve. It hits the antenna. And you hear an audible moan among the fans here. As some of those ill-timed service errors have hampered any possible rallies for Hawaii in this opening st stanza. Here's Hessenauer. Took something off there. Rosenmeyer the pass. Outside, it's Stein going high hands and down. On Silver with his third kill. If anybody could go on a serving run for Hawaii, Stein is one of those who could go on a serving run. So moments being taken to white perspiration off of the floor. I know Stein with three kills, two errors, only hitting the buck 25. I'm sure that number will rise as the night goes on. He's uh, hitting 480 on the year. Ma goes backside. Hessenauer blocked and roll. Rosenmeyer got most of that one. Gassman was next to him. We got a timeout taken by John Spraw and UCLA. Things getting a little too close for comfort for Coach Spraw's preference. 
earned his 100th win as head coach at UCLA last week in the victory over nationally ranked Penn State. He got his 300th overall victory as a college head coach the next night against Ohio State. So that worked out pretty well, both those wins on UCLA's home floor. Exactly. Yeah, he had 200 wins at UC Irvine when he was there, won three national championships. He's got a really interesting resume, to say the least. Let's take a look at the series record sponsored by Aston Hotels and Resorts. UCLA leading the all-time series 63-29. They have played a ton of matches. But we mentioned that long set, 41-39. That was in the last meeting last year. Hawaii actually took two matches, swept the series on the road against UCLA last season. That was to close MPSF play. But yeah, that 41-39 result in the first set on April 8th, that was uh, one to remember as Hawaii went on to win the match. So let's check in with Ryan Kalei-Suji. Ryan. Thanks, Gono. Well, one of the strategies for UCLA going into this match, and really every match, is their aggressiveness from behind the service line. Hey, Coach Sean Spurra saying, don't let up. Recently, UCLA had a few errors. He said, don't worry about that. Keep pushing Hawaii with your serves and go after it. Also interesting to note, in that huddle, Michael Ma, really a leader on this team, talking to his teammates, talking to his hitters about what shots are open. Michael Ma, really showing his leadership skills for the Bruins. Back over to you guys. Thanks a lot, Michael Ma, now an upperclassman at junior. And this is a guy who was quite simply one of the top recruits in all the land coming out of Punahou School, a three-sport athlete, played volleyball, played basketball, was a receiver for the football team, and won state championships, plural, in all those sports. Oh, that's set a little messed up, though. And here's Hawaii. Rosenmeyer trying to go high hands against a triple block. And Misery with the not-so-clean save, but ironically, it's Michael Maha who gets called for the lift, trying to send it over. Go figure. Yeah, I think uh, Wayne Lee is claiming probably that it just stuck in Micah's hands a little bit too long. In slow motion, it really looked like it stayed there a long time, for sure. So 21 serving 23. Hawaii, an opportunity to make it interesting here. Von Tuber has to get it in. He does. Maha goes backside. Hessenauer gets it in. And it is Aloha Ball in set one for UCLA. Christian Hessenauer, just 10 starts in the previous two seasons. He's never really been a huge numbers guy for UCLA in his career, but this year he's exploded. He's their team leader, averaging 3.13 kills per set. He's been playing just great volleyball, keeping the All-American Jake Garnett's out of the lineup. That's incredible. Pat Gassman. And the middle delivering 6'10 sophomore from Clovis, California. Yeah, I mean, to think UCLA has its perennial All-American hitter in Jake Arnitz on the bench. We haven't seen him yet. Middle set, that one also ill-timed. Von Tilburg takes a swing from the back row. Chance here for the Bruins. Maha goes outside. It's Misery off the block, played by Worsley. Younger bro with the bump set to Rosenmeyer. But she rallies like this, shots like this. Coaches are also put to the test using both of their timeouts. The players will finish it now. Both coaches have used up their timeouts. And the crowd has, if they hadn't already, officially arrived here at the SSC after that point. A 5-1 run for the Rainbow Warriors to get back into the mix here trailing 23-24. So if you are John Spraw, what are you telling your guys in that huddle? I think that what Spraw is probably doing is, is uh, probably telling that with a good pass, I think that they're going to try to hit set to the big player out of the back row, the back row quick player. They haven't gone to that set in quite a while. Uh, they've been going more to the pins, a little to the middle, but that's my guess. Unless it's a really good pass, and I don't know if Jim is up front now or not, but if he is, He's pretty much a, a sure thing if you can uh, get a good pass and, and have to just set him at about the 12-foot mark. He just puts it down very sharply to the ground. Hawaii hitting 308 in set one compared to 258 
for UCLA. But yeah, interesting. We, we've seen the Bruins in their last couple of transition opportunities. A little bit of miscommunication and disarray on their side. It was yeah. unlike anything we saw throughout that entire first set. Very unusual. And, and I take that back. I think uh, I stand corrected. Tony Wade does have one more timeout left. But I think Charlie's going to probably tell his boys, hey, we've got to serve a ball here that's going to put UCLA out of system. Hopefully they'll pass the ball behind the three-meter line. Michael Mott in the front row right now. We've got Oliver Martin with him and Dylan Misery. So watch for JT Hatch out of the back row. So Pat Gassman to serve. Has to get this in. It remains a Loha ball for the Bruins in set one. Ma'a goes backside. Hessenauer through the block and down. And that puts an end to that first frame. The Bruins take it 25-23. But an indication of what we might be in for here. Two unbeaten, two versus three at the Stan Sheriff Center. Big Island Candies, the perfect place to find the perfect gift. Visit them at their flagship store in Hilo at Alamoana Center or BigIslandCandies.com to see their amazing selection. 25-23 UCLA takes the first set, but Rado Padapunov, he made a statement in that opening frame. Five kills, one error, hitting 571. Got that wide batting goal. He can get the wrist away. Cross court, he can power through the block like he did just then. He can bring it down the line as well. On the other side, Dana and Jimma. He started to get more involved as that set progressed. Three kills, no errors. This is such a sharp angle. That's gonna be a little tip shot there, but he can really hit the, he can hit, really hit it straight down when he wants to, and he's in on blocks all the time. Their leading blocker, Canadian national team player. Uh, this summer played with the junior national team in Czechoslovakia with five other players that are on the floor now on, both, on each team. Actually, well, not everybody's on the floor, but I think uh, Gage Worsley, uh, Dylan Misery, Michael Ma'a, Brent Rosenmeyer, Patrick Gassman. Oh, like there's six guys that are playing tonight. Austin Mataltia. Austin Mataltia, they're, they're like world-class players <laughs> yeah. just got through playing in Czechoslovakia against the best under 21 players in the world and we get to watch them here tonight how's that how lucky are we how about the stats way out hitting UCLA in the first set 308 to 281 Bruins better side out percentage on that's a first contact percentage 75 percent to Hawaii 70 percent both those numbers are really good 70 percent is usually good enough to win most games. He said goes to Rado and he gets blocked. So Rado who got off to that fierce start had five kills before experiencing a hitting error. He has now been denied two straight swings. And that was well, Dylan Misery getting most of that. Yeah, Misery did a great job turning that ball back into the court. Solbrig caught it fed and sends it wide. Point UCLA and the Bruins off and running here in set two. Rare for Solbert to make an error. He's hitting 5-11 on the year. Huge number. Two-hand pass there by Rosenmeyer. Middle set, Solbert. He didn't catch that one, but he got that one right on the bullseye. He did. He was not happy about that one. The first one he hit, so he's going to make up for it in the second. Young man who turned down Harvard to come to Hawaii. Hitting 5-11. Yeah, marine biology major for Don Solberg. Well, he soared high and was able to levitate momentarily to put that one down on the UCLA side after the hit by Jimma. There's some emotion there from Solberg. Yeah, such, a, such a smart player is Solberg. Number four in the country in blocks per set. Two serving two, it's Misery. Was able to just sneak it past that block. I'll tell you what, Michael Ma has some of the purest hands that you will see in all the college landscape. He really does. He, his delivery is so quick, it's so deceptive, it's so unpredictable. Pass by Rosenmeyer. 
middle set. It's Solbrig. And good effort by Maha, but to no avail. Comes right into your living room on that layout. It's three, serving three. As is the case, a lot of these athletes recruited by many of the top-level volleyball programs and on the UCLA side. Michael Maha, certainly a guy who Charlie Wade and company was trying to lure to Manoa, as you see the service ace delivered there by Brett Rosenman. But also on the UCLA squad, players who were actively recruited by Hawaii. JT Hatch, Christian Hessenauer. It goes both ways. Four serving three, another good serve there by Rosemeyer. Good pass though by Misery, and then Hatch from the back row. It's Hatch, tied at four. Hatch is a man. I love watching Hatch play. He's just uh, he's so he has a quick arm swing. He's only six one, but he gets up. And it's great lev levitation, and uh, he just makes pure contact pretty much every time. And there's an ace, courtesy Dylan Misery. It was an MPSF All-Academic Team selection last year. Long Island Player of the Year in high school. And five aces against UCI about two weeks ago. Pass there by Rosie. And Solbrink. He's been the main man here so far in set two. We're not at it five. Joe Worsley so deceptive. He looked like he was in back set Toronto. And instead, he just fires at the Solbrig. Oh, line. Martin Solbrig, who has become a fixture in this Hawaii lineup, had three career starts prior to this season. Back row set, misery rising high and getting the point for the Bruins. And that back row quick that uh, John Scott loves to have his setter set. He started doing that way back in 2006, I think, when he was at uh, UC Irvine. And his teams became very, very good at it, won three national championships. And now they're doing it on the national team, of course, and now they're doing it with, uh, with his Bruins as well. Gassman straight down to the floor. And once again, Worsley having to traverse back and forth in order to deliver some of those on-target sets. If anybody can traverse, <laughs> it's Joe Worsley. His mom and dad flew in for the weekend. That's right. Roger and Christine. Here's Hessenauer, tight to the net. In fact, it was far enough over that Stein was able to take advantage, and Hawaii jumps in front. And there's a look at Christine and Roger. Worsley, and she's wearing a couple of lays because it is Christine's birthday. So happy birthday to Mama Worsley. As they take in the action, their two sons. Flying in from Moraga, California. That's right, and an ace. Dealt out of the deck by Rado Palacuna. You know, Rado played with, for the Bulgarian Junior National Team at one point in 2015 in their champ championships in Europe. Best biker and all best server another year. The last next serve goes into the net. It's seven, seven, eight. You just get the feeling it's going to be like this yeah. all night. That's an hour into the time. He's trying hard to serve that ball down the line to strike that over. Charlie Wade saying that is a key. He was talking about how important Tui exactly. Tui Leta is to that dynamic. Exactly. He's kind of squeezing Stein to the sideline a little bit, forcing the Bruins servers to really pinpoint. If they're going to get Stein, they're going to have to really be accurate. That is put down by Oliver Martin. 6'10", 50-year senior from Woodland Hills, California. Bit of a down year by comparison to his sophomore campaign. As it's an ace delivered by JT Hatch, and all of a sudden we're tied again. And Hatch came very close to stepping on the end line when he served that ball. Very close. 
So nine up here in set two. UCLA up one set to nine. Hatch with some heat. Bump set Worsley to Rosie. How about the set by Joe Worsley? Once again, Lil Joe is finding ways to get the ball to his hitters, just like Mike Amaha does for his Bruins. The bump set that time got the job done. Ten serving nine, it's Gassman. First touch by Hatch, outside, and it is touched off the block by Dylan Misery. Ten serving ten. Yeah, Joe Worsley, back to him. And he made a statement early in the year, was the most outstanding player of the Texaco Classic to open the season for the Rainbow Warriors. It was also all tournament in Nashville a couple of weekends ago. Sets that one in the perfect spot for Dalton Solbrick to rip into. A little hesitation move by Solberg, looking like he was going to go for a 31, comes inside a little bit and beats the middle blocker, Jimma. 11 serving 10, Worsley. Reared back on that one, Maha, D-set. And Heisenhower gets another kill. He has four. So he, JT Hatch, Dylan Misery, the kill leaders, each with four apiece. Great set by Michael Ma. He looked like he was going to go to Jimma in the middle instead. Back to Hessenauer. A one on one situation for Hessenauer. He makes the most of it. Both these setters do an amazing job of get, giving their outside hitters one on one situations. Well, and you see the options that each setter is playing with as well. I mean, they can literally go anywhere on the floor. Served there by Rosenmeyer, passed by Garland Peed, and then that is hammered into by Dane and Jimmel. A 17 starts last year, hit a team best 494, was an all MPSF honorable mention. It was all made possible by Garland Peed. Beautiful pass. And Garland Peed was not starting the first four matches of the year. It was JT Hatch at Libero. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, uh, John Scrum decided that during that uh, UCI match when they were down 0-2 against UCI, well, let's switch things around. Let's put JT Hatch back at hitting. We'll put Garland Peed in at Libero, and it hasn't changed since. It was about a month, about two and a half weeks ago. 13 serving 12. It's Anastasiadis. Eighth service error for Hawaii compared to nine for UCLA. So we're tied at 13 here in set two. Get a good look at Dane and Jimmo. You know, he also produces music as sort of a side gig. Goes into the net there, but Jimmo produces hip-hop music and has produced several non-mainstream Canadian artists. I mean, it, it is legit. And he doesn't answer to Dana. That's right. He answers to Kofi. Kofi is his K -O -F -I. producer Kofi. name. Exactly. We got to introduce him to Hawaii's basketball player, Brock Steptoe. Because he's a hip hop artist on the side. I'm, I'm sensing a collaboration. We got a timeout on the floor. Hawaii up too. Rainbow Warrior Volleyball on Spectrum Sports is sponsored by Strong and Hawaii Honda Dealers. Well, both teams have found their offense here in set two. Both teams hitting 556. That's a big number. If you're a college men's volleyball coach, you're happy with uh, 350. It is Hawaii up two. 15 serving 13. Rado with the serve. It's an ace. Oh, that was filthy. The bottom just dropped out on that right after the ball went over the net. Well, he's got a lot of spin. It's kind of spinning in a different direction as well because he's a lefty. I don't think the Bruins have any lefties to replicate that in practice. Second ace for Rado. 16 serving 13. Pass by P. Ma'a goes back row set. It's misery with his fifth kill for UCLA. P, what a pass, I'm telling you. Rado put more heat on that second serve. Tougher to pass, in my opinion. And Pede just dined it right on the money. So here's Hessenauer. 
14 serving 16, and he sends it long. You know, we were talking to Charlie Wade prior to the match, and he was saying, hey, look, you know, a match like this, with teams that are comprised in such a way as Hawaii and UCLA, he says a three-point run at the service line or otherwise, he said that could really mean the match the way these two teams are built. Exactly. Ma'a goes middle, and Martin is dug up. Rado from the back row. Was there a touch? No touch. UCLA gets the point. They're within two. John Spraw, the only individual to win a national championship as a player, assistant coach, and head coach. He's won a bunch of them. Saved by Worsley. Rado from the back row. Three blockers were up. Michael Ma, Oliver Martin, and Dylan Misery, and they deny access. It was a well-formed Bruin wall, to be sure. Six hands across, tough to get past that one. Got to go deep quarter to every one if you have any chance at all. So Six. two off the end blocker. 16 serving 17, the pass by Stein. Worsley surveys the floor and then sets up Rosenmeyer, who had one blocker against him. It's going to be a Hawaii point. I think it was a net violation. I think Michael Ma, I think, got his, maybe got his forearms into the cable. That was the call by Ernie Ho. Let's take a look here at the net cam. Watch Michael right there. See if he falls in. Yep, right yeah. there. Good Boy, call. A solid call. And that is one that benefits Hawaii as it was ruled out on the hit by Rosenmeyer. Colton Cowell. The Mukawal boy out of the island of Maui with the serve. Hessenauer. Oh, man. That was smashed. Hessenauer with five kills on 11 swings. He's hitting 364. Once again, Hessenauer getting a one on one situation. An advantage, a huge advantage to the attacker. And they've only got one blocker to defend them. Martin with the serve. Outside it goes to Rosenmeyer. Ma'a was the only blocker up. He got a piece. Now he goes back row. It's Hatch. And it's a point for UCLA, and we are tied at 18. Well, Hatch that time just went up, just took an easy swing, a little cutback swing. You can see the whole court did a great job of finding the open space. 11th tie in this set. But Rado unties it. That is his first kill of set number two. Six kills now for Rado. Four errors in 11 tries, hitting 182. Normally on the year, he's hitting more like uh, 320. Worsley tickled the tape. Pass by Hatch. Middle set, clobbered by Jim. I was talking to Micah's father yesterday at the UCLA practice. Talking to Pono, I said, Pono, how do you set a guy who, who touches 12-2? He, he says, I, yeah, I talked to Mike about that. Mike said, not high enough. <laughs> the higher the better. Yeah. Scramble play by Hawaii. It ends up being an ace for Mike Mama. And UCLA jumps in front. And Charlie Wade's going to signal for a timeout. Things swinging in the Bruins' direction. Welcome back. Let's check out the first Hawaiian Bank top three NCAA all-time home winning streaks. UCLA had a winning streak of 83 home wins between 75 and 82. Long Beach State in second with 32. Hawaii's current home win streak, though, ranks third. They have won 25 straight dating back to 2016. They went 18-0 at home last season, but it is most certainly in position to be challenged tonight by second-ranked UCLA. Up 20 to 19 in set two. Ma'a with the serve, the pass by his fellow Punahou alum, Tuileta, but then Stein gets turned back. Dana Jim saying, uh-uh. Well, Stein was doing the best he could to avoid this block, but Jim just reaches over, takes away that that little wrist away shot and just buries it to the ground. Great block by Jimma. Team leader in blocks. 
Ma tried to take something off, went into the net. John Spraw had a reaction, didn't really make any sort of change in his facial expression, but the body language was such, maybe was hoping that Ma would rear back one more time. Well, how about having a first-team All-American as your first sub? Yeah, not too shabby. <laughs> Jake Arnett, 6'7", senior from Yorba Linda, California. This is the second team ABCA All-American the last two years. Coming off your bench in the home stretch of set two. Picked to be first team this year. Hatch with the touch, saved there by Worsley. Here's Stein, it gets a triple block and it didn't matter. I think Stein went OTT there. He got up. Let's take a look, nice little side set from Rosenmeyer. And yes, over the top goes Van Tilburg. Five kills now for Stein, hitting 167. We're tied again for the 13th time here in set two. Ma goes middle, Jimma. Sixth kill for Jimma. He's hard to stop. There you go again, once, once again, Ma getting a pass that's the 10, 10 foot line. And he'll still go to Jimmick. Jimmick touches 12 2 He's in the air a long time. A lot of room for error there when you set Jimmick. Pass by Tui. Worsley goes outside to Stein. Solo roof. Christian Hessenauer. And that got the Bruin bench in an uproar in a good way. That was a classic, technically perfect block by Hessenauer. Turned the ball back into the court. Stein thought he had him down the line. Hessenauer stayed disciplined, stayed right there on the antenna, and took away that line. Wow, what a block. So timeout, Hawaii UH Athletics reaches out to you online each week with updates and promotions through its HMail e-newsletter. To register, visit hawaiiathletics.com and click on the HMail button. It's simple and it's free. Well, Hawaii came into this match averaging 3.1 blocks per set. That was good enough for second nationally entering the week. UCLA 2.1 blocks on its side per set. We talked a little bit about the discrepancy in competition uh, when you compare the two schedules. That said, though, UCLA with six total team blocks here to this point in the match. Hawaii with three. I think that was something that even the corner crew brought up as a huge factor tonight if Hawaii was to be successful. Yeah, I think one of them, I'm not sure if it was uh, if it was Nick Costello or if it was Ryan Suji, one of them said the blocks can be the difference tonight, and certainly the Bruins are making their, themselves known at the net by doubling up on Hawaii. Here's another thing that's an interesting stack. Michael Ma has got his set distribution going on. He's got four guys with five or more kills. JT Hatch has five, Misery's got five, Jimma's got six, Tosanero's got five, and the team as a whole is hitting 396 to Hawaii's 279. I do believe it was Ryan that mentioned the block. We'll give Ryan the credit for, for, for mentioning the, there you go. that it would, in many ways, be contingent on whether or not that Hawaii block would show up tonight. Hawaii trails by two, but that's going to help a little bit as Misery goes long on the serve. So 22 serving, 23, and it is Dalton Solbrey behind the line. This is a must get. Meaning Dalton Solbrig must get it in. And he does. Good pass though by Hatch. Back row set, Misery diving save, Solbrig touched over by Gassman. Here's Hatch, sends it wide. No touch up front. Point Rainbow Warriors, and we're tied at 23. Tell you it was going to be a good match and it might go long. We had a deuce game in the first set, and now we're looking at another deuce game in the second set. Chris Stradamus strikes again. <laughs> Let's send it over to Ryan. Well, first of all, thank you, Kanoa. It was me talking about the block, so I will take credit for that. But here at the Hawaii sideline, uh, you know, the outside hitters for Hawaii kind of struggling at times. And assistant coach Josh Walker, of course, an outside hitter himself back in his day, talking to about how they're making contact with ball. He says, you guys are trying to drive it too straight down. You have to hit higher. This is a big UCLA block, especially on that right side. So he's trying to encourage the hitters to go high hands. Charlie Wade is also trying to invoke some emotion from this team, recognizing that this is a very significant set. Back over to you guys. 
and how. I mean, this is a pivotal second set. Do you want to go to the locker room 0-2? Or you want to go to the locker room 1-1? One, one? Exactly. I mean, psychologically, that is just huge. A huge. huge difference. But I think in particular, when you have a team with the firepower of UCLA, I mean, this on both sides of the net, you're talking about teams that, in their respective transition game, they have a ton of firepower and depth. Yeah, they really do. And, you know, their, their, their size is so imposing. You saw Hessner on that one-on-one -on -one block out there. He's 6'8", and he's a hungry senior who hasn't gotten as much playing time as he would have liked for a lot of different reasons. But he's getting his time now, and he's making the most of it. Got to give him a lot of credit. Sure doesn't feel like, even though these two teams are now technically in different conferences, that this rivalry has been any less intense. Maybe even more, because, yeah. the, because these two teams, who knows, maybe these two teams will, will be going for the at-large bid to go to the NC2As. That's a good point. 23 all to serve by Solbrick. Took something off. Ma'a goes middle. Jimma misses wide. Yeah. Amazing. Jim is a guy who had, I believe he had 13 kills, no errors uh, against Ohio State recently, and he just does not make many errors. He hits the ball down, but he rarely hits it out. So a 3-0 run for Hawaii, and they are now in position to possibly even things up here in this match. I mean, what a turn here at the end of set two. The Bruins really had control of set two, everything going their way, momentum on their side, but the Warriors refusing to give up. Hawaii hitting 235, just one total team block in this second set. Meanwhile, on the other side, UCLA has four blocks, hitting 421. Some of the service errors perhaps not helping down the stretch for UCLA either. 13 service errors now for the match compared to eight for Hawaii, but it is somewhat mystifying that the Rainbow Warriors are in this position right now. You're right, Kanoa. They, uh, the Bruins are winning in almost every statistical category in the second set, and yet they're down set point. By the way, if this were in any other MPSF gymnasium, the fans would be up. Yeah. Set point, they'd be up and they'd be riding the other team. Yeah, it's, it's, it's time for Hawaii fans to make that transition. I, I would love to see him do that. We need to stand up at the end of every set when the home team is on 24. Exactly. Well, some of them are doing just that in the student section. They, they heard are. you, C-Mac. They are. Look at them. And it's contagious. It's starting to, it's starting to move around the arena now. So break the serve. Ma goes outside. It's Hatch. The roll shot saved by Worsley. Rosie sets up Rado. Off the block, Rado touches it down. And Hawaii takes set two. Rainbow Warriors finish set two on a 4 0 run. And C Man, how sweet was it to see? Many in the stands were standing. For good reason, we got ourselves a match here at the SSC. Taking a look at the match statistics. It goes 25-23, UCLA in the first, then the other way in the second. What do you think about the numbers, C-Mac? Well, it kills, as you can tell, about even. Hawaii having more attempts, but look at uh, or all those. Uh, UCLA having more attempts, but look at all those errors by Hawaii. Ten hitting errors. They're hitting only 289 at UCLA's 327. Blocks is a little bit of a surprise there. Hawaii number two blocking team in the country, but getting out-blocked by double 6-3 on the by the Bruins. And the digs though, 15 digs by Hawaii to nine for UCLA. And uh, Joe Worsley, of all people, leading the way with digs with six. Now you heard the corner crew talking, and I think Nick Costello pointed out correctly that Bic, that quick back row set for UCLA, yeah. it's caused Hawaii problems here through the first two sets. It really has. It's a very difficult set uh, to block, and the Bruins run it as well as anybody in the country. First sequence, and it is a scramble play for Hawaii and Rosenmeyer from off the net and off the playing 
surface. But is able to go off the block and out. That Rosenmeyer, four kills on seven swings. He's hitting 429. He's having himself a nice season as you see his overall statistics. Worsley, the serve for Hawaii. Back row set. There it is again. This time Hawaii digs it up. Stein from the back row touches it. Played off the net by Jimmel, but they're going to give Hawaii the point due to a net violation against the Bruins. And so Hawaii off and running here in the third up to home. I tell you what, different energy here to start the third, obviously, with the way that second set ended. Well, you know, you know both coaches went in and read a lot of numbers. They're making a lot of adjustments, to be sure. Rado touches it up. Here's Rosenmeyer off the block and out. Point for the Rainbow Warriors. So a couple of tool jobs there by Rosie. Hey, one thing Rosie does, he's fearless. He goes up and he's going to just bang away as hard as he can most of the time. And most of the time, he chooses the right blocker to hit off. And that's usually the outside blocker's outside hand. Has really worked his overall game through the offseason. Worsley tried to roll it and goes into the net. Away with all that momentum, you hate to see it end on the service error. There's Michael Ma'a. Says he's a big Tom Brady fan, so he's obviously happy about the matchup that's coming two Sundays from now. So Once again, Joe Worsley catches the UCLA block by surprise. They're up very late. Solberg has like a free net to swing away at because of Worsley's magic deception. Six kills, just one error for Solberg. He's hitting 556. Here's Jimma. Pinballed around momentarily on Hawaii's side, but another kill for Dana Jimma. He is the team leader for UCLA. He now has seven. And he's hitting above 400, 455 to be exact. Just long, launches off of the deck. That misery serve misses. Hawaii up 5 2. Dane and Jimma represents in so many ways sort of that further evolution of this game, right? That the men's volleyball athlete just taking it to another level. So much size and skill now out along that front line. Hatch goes down the line, dug up by Worsley. So Rosenmeyer sets up Stein, goes over the block. Good dig there by Garland Peed. Hatch from off the net, the Rose shot. Worsley again to save. Rosie, high and away to Stein, blocked in roof. That is a big old block on the other side for UCLA. 6'5", Hessenauer, and 6'8", Jimma. There's a high ball that's easy to go up and get set up there. And Hessenauer sets that block up perfectly on that line. And Jimma takes care of all of that cross court. And Jimma with the high toss. It's happened now a few times for him where it looks like the toss is just going a little too far out in front. And you can't you just can't catch up. He needs to put on track shoes to catch up. <laughs> Six serving three. Here's Rado. Third ace to go along with three errors, and John Sprout not happy with that. Of course, I'll tell you, on the, on the passer's behalf, it hits the cable as it goes over. It really throws the passers off, and because the trajectory and the speed totally changes. Well, it was Rado at the end of set two. Quick thinking, the quick jump, touching down the final point, and evening this match up. Here's Hatch against a double block. Surprised that Hatch didn't try to go back down the line. Looks like he's going to come out now. And a little bit bigger players coming in. Six of one going out. Six eight coming in. That's Jake Arnitz. Top ten in career kills and attempts at UCLA. Jake Arnitz back on the floor. Rado goes right to him. Arnitz delivers. Good dig there by Tuileta back over the net. One hand set by Ma'a to Hessenauer. And it's returned. Backside, Rado blocked. He saves it, and Stein sends it over. Great rally here. Ma goes middle, and Oliver Martin.
Orton quiets the crowd as he puts it down in the middle of that Hawaii defense. What a rally. Most of that rally was played about a foot off the ground. <laughs> Go figure. Even Charlie has to smirk at how fun that sequence was. Pirato served right away at Arnett's, and Arnett's just passed up a perfect ball after being on the bench most of the night. What a pass he made. So it's Hessenauer now to serve. Pass by Tui, outside. Stein! Has it been the easiest of nights for Stein von Tuber? Was hitting 062 prior to that put down. He now has seven kills hitting 118. Far from his normal season kill percentage average, for sure. Stein normally gets 489 on the year. Of course, that's been against a little bit different competition uh, than playing against the UCLA Bruins. Last time on this floor, it was Stein going for 14 kills against USC in what was the championship of the Texaco Rainbow Warrior Classic. What a serve by Van Tilburg there. And Arnitz goes into the net. Points for the Rainbow Warriors and Cimac. They're up 10 4 here in the third. John Strong is forced to call a timeout. We will take a break as well. This thing has swung in the other direction. Big Island Candies, the perfect place to find the perfect gift. Visit them at their flagship store in Hilo at Ala Moana Center or BigIslandCandies.com to see their amazing selection. Welcome back. It is a 10-4 lead for Hawaii in set three. UCLA took the first set, 25-23. Hawaii flipped the script in set two. And here they are up six with Stein's on Tilburg. Seal it out in eight. Coming out of the timeout with a huge serve. His kill percentage at the net, not great tonight, but how about his serving? Amazing. And there's, you saw the girls' volleyball team. That's right. They're yeah. cheering loud. Emily Maglio. Filet Greeley and company. They're enjoying it. They like being on TV. <laughs> they like being spectators from time to time, too, it appears. Arnitz rising high. One hand saved by Tui, sent over by Worsley. Here's Arnitz again. Bigger swing, dug up by Tui Letta. Worsley sets up Rosenmeyer against a triple block. Put good heat on it. And then puts it down for good measure. Hawaii is rolling right now. Here in the third. Oh, but they will reverse the call and give the point to the Bruins. Call the net. Rosie said the ball hit the net. Oh, no, Rosie hit it. He got it. So it looked like for a moment Rosenmeyer had put it down. Instead, it's a net violation called by Ernie Ho. Charlie Wade is going to challenge the call. Again, no challenge ping pong paddle, no challenge folded paper. It is just the square. visual square. Square air in the square, square in the air. Yeah, it's basically like the international sign when you're at a restaurant and you want the check. You just kind of make that square with your fingers. It was an easy call. Ernie Ho should be done with this in about five seconds. Yep, there you go. Head set off, he had the call right. And that is huge for UCLA. You had the timeout taken by John Sprawl. It seemed as though confidence, certainly the momentum leaking from that side of the net. That was a much needed tourniquet applied there and it comes via that net violation. So a failed challenge by Charlie Way. And now it's Arnitz to serve. Into the net it goes. Here comes Mr. Energy, Dalton Solbrick, into the game. So UCLA not able to take advantage there of that net violation. 12 serving five, it's Gassman, look out. Work out on 55 miles an hour and still going. <laughs> you send that one into orbit. <laughs> A little too much gas from Pat Gasman. Worsley goes D set to Rado, blocked in roof. Misery got most of that one. And once again, the Bruins block. Prominent. Well, this is something historical for the Bruins. Uh, coming from the Alice Skates days, they prided themselves on always being a great blocking team. 
Rosemeyer goes off the block and now, and that was a brilliant, quick outside, pin to pin set from Joe Worsley. It's only the worst can do. Bruins up 8 4 in blocks now. Hawaii hitting 250. UCLA flat lining it right now here in the third. And Worsley putting some smoke on it. It hit the scoreboard, and so a scramble play here for the Bruins. Chance for Hawaii. Backside, Seriano missed the court line. Oh, it was there for him. Unable to catch it in. He was trying to bury that ball straight down. And a little too cute. She was talking some. Gotta listen to Josh Walker, get those balls in. So eight serving 13, this is a guy who can score from the service line, Michael Ma'a. Great pass by Tui. Here's Rosie. And again, Worsley keeping the blockers guessing. That block was nowhere near forming as Rosemeyer was pummeling the set. Tui Lenta receiving from his former teammate, Michael Ma'a. He's pretty used to receiving those serves. All during high school and club ball. Overpass. And that was pounded. Ronald Papakuna delivering some champ music. Hawaii hits 15 first. Timeout. It's 15-8, the Rainbow Warriors snatching up this third set. So that last put down by Rado, see it ricochet, goes into the face of Micah Ma'a. And that was one of those that got him red face and got him a little teary-eyed there in that left eye. He looks to be okay, but that was not comfortable. He's tough, he's tough. You remember again, his mom had two national championships, 82-83 playing for Dave Shoji. I remember his dad played professional in volleyball. There's Stein going high hands and down. And you gotta remember he was coached by one of the legends, Charlie Jenkins, and for a in, in uh, club volleyball, and three leopards. We've also seen Micah, because Obviously, his being from Punahou, we have seen him throughout his development as a volleyball player and through his career at UCLA. We have seen him develop into a true sort of spiritual leader for this team. Overpass forced. And then put down on the joust by Jake Arnitz. It was a good serve by Colton Cowell. Hawaii unable to take advantage. Colton Cowell. Beach partner Rosemary overpassed that right. there. Not like Rosie to mishandle one like that. So 10 serving 16, UCLA. A tall mountain to climb here in the third. A lot of volleyball left. Absolutely. They have the skill set to do it, especially serving from the line. Here's Rosemeyer off of the Stein set. And he goes long. Some of the Hawaii players are asking Charlie Wade to challenge the call. I'm not sure if they're asking him to challenge the touch or the in and out. And now Pat Gassman and Stein von Tilburg, they come over and trying to add some sense to the discussion. They say, don't challenge it. Yeah. Here's Jim. Good serve. Worsley chases down the second touch. Stein against a triple block. It didn't matter. That was vintage Stein to Van Tilburg there. Three blockers up. He finds way to go over the top, OTT, and in the court. Stein is starting to percolate. Nine kills, hitting 211. Rado with the serve. Backside set. Hessenauer tight to the net. He is blocked the roof. Pat Gassman next to Joe Worsley. And Hawaii up seven. John Straw has to call another timeout. Well, nobody saw this coming here in set three. Well, the two, first two sets were so tight. Never more than like three points apart from for each team. No, no big leads for either team. All of a sudden now, Hawaii's getting leads in this set. 
A lot of it due to Hawaii being more effective and efficient at the service line. Absolutely. That's been the biggest difference by far is Hawaii's putting Hawaii, uh, UCLA passers in trouble. Hawaii hitting 278 here in set three. UCLA still flatlining it here. Just three kills on 16 swings and three errors in the third frame. Not a typical Bruin kill percentage, that's for sure. Let's check in with Ryan. What's up? Well, John Sparrow telling his players, this Hawaii team is being told exactly what to do, and they're executing. We aren't doing that. He says, we know exactly where they're going to hit. We've scouted this team, and they're doing exactly what we thought we needed. We need to execute. So look for UCLA to make some adjustments on the blockers, especially on Von Tilburg and Parpunov, to see if they can find ways to stop them, like how they did earlier this match. Back over to you guys. Thanks a lot, Ryan. John Sparrow. Very particular about the details of the game. Also the head coach for the U.S. men's national team. But he is a guy who is extremely process oriented. You know, he has some great comments to make about his, uh, his business with Coach John Wooden earlier before Coach Wooden passed away. It's obvious that Straw tries to embody and use as part of his philosophy, Coach Wooden's. Yeah, one of the great accomplishments of John Wooden, that run of success, you know, you sort of expect success to breed success on its own, but that wasn't the belief by John Wooden. He treated every year as if they were not coming off of national championships over at UCLA. Here's Arnitz. Worsley was the solo blocker dug up over the net by Rado. Backside. Hessenauer misses wide. Point Hawaii. But Parapuna getting the star on that sequence. Oh, definitely. He had a great first serve, and then he had the tremendous dig. He's doing a little bit of everything. 19 serving 11. Just misses. That was awfully close. He went somewhere he doesn't normally go. He doesn't usually go down the line there. You see how he likes to hit the, uh, the five, six, seam or a five cross court, but not that time. Well, now we see the insertion of 6'3 redshirt freshman Sam Cobrin out of Newport Beach, California, in Corona Del Mar High School. We were watching him in warm-ups, and he gets off the floor. Major bounce to his game. Coming in for the serve here. Stein blocked and roof. Well, UCLA has had Stein's number on a couple of occasions. Oliver Martin leading the way there at 6'10". Just sprawled out on that Stein attempt. 13 serving 19. Cobrin, by the way, getting his first action of the season here in this match, c -Man. He's got to be excited. His dad played basketball for the Bruins back in the, in the early 80s. Maybe a little too excited on that yeah. service attempt. A lot, of, a lot of adrenaline. His last, his last five points, the hardest points to get in any vulnerable set, in my opinion. So uh, Hawaii better not rest on their laurels too much. Yeah, it's kind of like when your offense is in the red zone on the football field. Those last few yards, the hardest to come by. Ma'a sets up Arnitz off the fingertips of the block and down. By the way, UCLA now with 17 service errors compared to four aces. Hawaii with 12 errors to six aces. A little better ratio certainly on the Hawaii side. That's the chess match that exactly. these coaches have to reckon with. And I look at, I don't look so much as the aces and errors as I do look at how much does my serve put your team in trouble? Like passes behind the three meter line, things like that. Long breath by Arnitz. Pass by Tui, tight to the net. Worsley times it! Six feet beats 6'10 at the net. How do you like that? The smallest guy in the court against the biggest guy in the court. Let's watch, see how this happens. Oh my word, Worsley getting off the turf. Oliver Martin backing up a little bit there rather than being aggressive forward. He was backing up, hoping to pound it down. Worsley a little too quick for him. There's Anastasiadis. Overpass. Solberg couldn't put it down. He gets another chance at it. Bruins now in transition. Martin dug up by Rado, but into the antenna. 
We've heard from Ernie Ho here, the down official Wayne Lee is the top of the ladder, Ryan Scudder, Wes Kowachi, the two line judges. It is 15 serving 21, Oliver Martin to serve. Two-handed by Tui. Outside set, Rosemeyer solo block up, and he tried to slice it, misses wide. Point Bruins. And the crowd getting antsy. Can I tell you, those last four points are tough to come by. Between 20 and 25, it is so hard. Unless you have a home crowd, it's grabbing the server and they serve it into the net. Then it becomes a little bit easier. 18th service error for UCLA, and they have come at some inopportune times here in the third. So 22 serving 16. Joe Worsley about to lay into it. The pass by Pede. Ma goes backside. Hessenauer dug up. Here's Rosie. Blocked and roof. Ma to Jimma. Solid block up there. Rosie didn't go. He didn't try to go high hands. No, he tried to go down the line. And Ma wouldn't let him. That's a great block by Micah. Ma is a competitor. I mean, you just see it. Got that red eye sort of swelling a little bit after taking that ricochet shot. Fighting through it. Court bump set, Rado. Layout saved by Pede. Back row set, Arnitz. A laser beam to the Terraflex. Which one of the has got to consider calling a timeout here before the Bruins get too close. He's got two timeouts to burn. Bruins have used up both of their timeouts. And there's Arnitz out of the back row. Ooh, that, that back row click is so good. Brilliant save by Pede as well on that sequence. Middle set, Solbrig. They're going to say it goes long. Hawaii wanted a touch somewhere along the way there. No such call. Point UCLA. And don't count the Bruins out. Charlie Wade calls a timeout. A 5-1 UCLA run, and they are right back in the picture. You can see a little smile by Coach Spra there as he's happy the way this 5-1 run has gone. Trainer checking on Micah to see how his face is, see if he has any concussion issues going on. Well, he was right back out there. It's not always good to speculate, but it certainly seems as though he's his normal self. I'll tell you something, though. Micah Ma, setting with one eye, is better than, <laughs> yeah. than most players <laughs> with two or three. Trust me. That's a good point. Let's check in with Ryan. What's up? Well, talking about Mike, uh, during almost every single uh, serve receive or in between every play, he's actually holding his eye. It's very red. It's swelling up. The trainer went over to talk to him, said if he's okay. He said, we'll look at it after this game. But definitely, it's something to take a look at because Mike Ma obviously bothered by playing with essentially one eye. Over to you. Thanks a lot, Ryan. How about, yeah. the, hit, how about the hitting percentages on these two teams? UCLA in this set hitting 0-42. Hawaii hitting 0-38, 10 kills, 9 errors. The way Hawaii's gotten ahead, in case you're just joining us, the serve. So here it is again, Rado, and it ricochets off of Michael Mala's face. It is visibly red. Yeah. Swelling is evident. But he is back behind the line to serve, and yes, he continues to sort of touch it. It is causing him discomfort clearly, and he serves it just long. That is a big break for Hawaii. They're up 23-19. Well, it's been fun so far. As expected, you got two versus three, UCLA versus Hawaii. Number one team in the country, if you're wondering, by the way, Long Beach State. They swept Stanford tonight. Stanford for the second time. Who this lost season. their starting center, by the way? Hey, you don't have to make ago. excuses for. No, I'm trying to for make your as many as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Long Beach State, no, Long Beach by the State's way, it's a great team and They're a really member good. of the Big West Conference. So Hawaii will have to go through the beach as a championship contender in the league. This call challenged, by the way, by John Spraw. Is that in or out? Is the question. It is awfully close. Hard to tell. It is awfully close. It's 
hard to tell. I think it did, I think it did the key land just is, The key is, is there enough evidence to overturn what was the out call on the court? And I'm not sure if you have that. But Ernie Ho is taking a long stare at this. What do you think, C-Mac? Well, I thought it was out originally, and <laughs> the more I'm looking at the replay yeah. now, it looks like it might have caught part of the white line. I don't know. It's, yeah, tough. No. it's a tough call. I'm not sure the evidence is overwhelming. He's going to call it in. Ernie Ho reverses the call. So it is an ace by Michael Ma'a. And instead of being 23-19, it is now 20 serving 22, a 4-0 run for UCLA. Largest lead for Hawaii in this third set was eight. Here it comes from Ma'a. Pass by Tuileta. Worsley, high and away. Rado against the double block. And he restores order. Oh, that was a big block up there, too. SNR and the 6'8 Jimma in the middle. Rado somehow found a way through that block. So 23 serving 20. Parapunov and Von Silberg each with nine kills to lead the way for Hawaii. Rosie to serve. Those deep corner. Misery. Couldn't handle it. Ace for Rosenmeyer. Aloha ball in the third for the Rainbow Warriors. And you asked for it, C-Mac. Members of the student section, certain members of the crowd standing for Aloha ball, even if it is for a set and not for the entire match. We would like to see this catch on for sure. It's just the way the rest of the league does it. Why not? For set three. Ma'a goes backside, misery dug up by Worsley. Solbrick sets up Stein, high hand saved by P. Bruins on the attack. Great dig by Worsley, way out save attempt by Rado to no avail. Christian Hessenauer gets the kill. Great effort on all fronts. There's Worsley popping it up, Rado keeping it alive, but he had to pop it up a little bit higher. Milan Sarkovic probably getting in the play. Yeah, the near save for Milan there on the bench. So it remains a low ball here for Hawaii. Dylan Misery will be serving. That's a strong student section of Hawaii's got to lose that. Bigger than usual. Yeah, good call there. And they are still standing, by the way. So they get it. Worsley back bump set to Rado over the double block and long. Point UCLA, 22, serving 24. And all of a sudden, the Bruins getting their serves in. Yeah. And they know they have to at set point. Tickles the tape. It's an ace for Misery. Bruins within one. Charlie Wade has one timeout left. We'll see if he uses it. He will use it right now. So it remains Aloha ball for Hawaii, but much like what the Rainbow Warriors pulled off at the end of set two, we got to come from behind here down the home stretch. Are we going to see three 25-23 games? Is that what we're going to see here? Well, <laughs> you're saying Hawaii would get this next point. It's possible. <laughs> hey, anything it's is possible. It's also possible the Bruins could tie it up 24 off. Yeah, it could also go 41-39. <laughs> That's right. Like it did last year at Pauley Pavilion. I mean, that is just wild. We had that fact for you earlier, the two longest rally scoring era sets in Hawaii's program history were against UCLA. 44-42 and 41-39. Hawaii making an unusual number of errors, 10 hitting errors. Yeah, Hawaii hitting .034 compared to .077. So in what is a complete contradiction to what we saw in set two, which was some offensive firepower on both sides. We are seeing here in the third set an offensive battle of attrition. You think the, off 
senses. We get stronger as the night went along. Instead, the offenses were struggling. Stein front left. So mystery will serve. It's still Aloha Ball Hawaii. Pass by Rosenmeyer. Worsley goes high and away to Stein. Triple block up. Swap sides, and the Rainbow Warriors will have a chance to win the match in four. All right, let's check out how it works, presented by Central Pacific Bank, CMAC. Take a look at Joe Worsley on a pass that's off the net. He's just amazing. Most people would set this ball to the left or to the right. Watch what Worsley does with it. He runs after the 10-foot line, and then he sets back to the middle. Nobody's expecting that set to come. Rune block was cut off guard. They're up there a little late. The Dalton Solbrecht, the beneficiary of, a, of more Worsley magic. So speaking of Dylan Misery, looked like he was a little gimpy at the end of that third set. He is now standing outside the huddle. Let's we'll see if that's any kind of lingering issue for him, but he saw him hit one ball in the warm-up and he hammered it. Looked yeah. good. Well, like I said before, there's lots of volleyball left. At least Hawaii, at least uh, the last thing they can do is rest on their laurels. And uh, the Bruins were down 0-2, remember, to UC Irvine That's a couple right. weeks ago and came back to win in 5, 16, 14, the fifth. And I'm sure they're thinking about that. They also had a five-set match against is it Ohio State. Ohio State and Irvine. Correct. So they've had two five-setters already this year. So they know what it's like to come back or and play in, in tight matches. For Hawaii, this is really only their second big match. Having played SC earlier, who's 12th ranked, and 12, playing 12 is not like playing member two. Sure, and, and the other ranked team they played was Grand Canyon uh, over there in Nashville, Tennessee for the Grow the Game Challenge. Right. In fact, that first set that Hawaii lost tonight, just the second set that Hawaii has lost all season. So, yeah, some new experiences or, or new vibes, certainly, for the Rainbow Warriors here taking on UCLA. Rado Patapunov forces the overpass. So it's two, he's setting up Rado a second time. He goes off the triple block and out for a Rainbow Warrior point. You know, you were taking us through the how it works with Joe Worsley. And you have Joe Worsley taking over the starting setter position for Jennings Franciscovich, who had a brilliant campaign last year. You have Michael Ma'a, preseason All-American. How would you assess the setter play on either side? Oh, are you kidding me? It's brilliant. I love both these centers. Look at that set right there by Michael Martin. He's so deceptive. He's so accurate in his location. Triple block was up for Hawaii. Now it's a joust. No, UCLA will play it. Back row set goes long. Arnett had the floor. Unable to take advantage. It was an open net to be sure. This is a guy who was the nation's number one recruit out of Esperanza High School in California by Volleyball Magazine, a perennial All-American, and yet he has found himself in a reserve role here this season. That's the first touch there. Jimma able to kind of slam it down. That's gonna be a point for UCLA, but John Spraw, the whole coaching staff, in fact, talking about the way Jake Arnitz has responded to being put in a reserve role, he has done so with enthusiasm. He has been supportive of his teammates. Not necessarily the reaction you would always expect from a guy who is used to being the man. Back row, it's Misery. And yeah, he looks fine. <laughs> he looks fine. Yeah, Arnitz has been great, very supportive of JT Hatch, who took his place. And now the role is reversed. JT's been the man the last... Uh, couple weekends and all of a sudden Arnitz is back in and JT's supporting him. Two serving two, mystery into the twine. 19th service error for UCLA, it's 3-2 Hawaii. 
Playing with 12 service errors of their own. If you're just joining us, battle of unbeatens. Just three unbeaten teams in the top 15 rankings. In the number one, two, three spots. Long Beach State one, UCLA two, Hawaii three. Backside. It's Hessenauer dug up. Here's Stein on the outside, dug up by Ma'a. So Arnitz buff sets. Hessenauer from behind the line. Chance for Hawaii, it's Tui. Going Toronto. Right down Kamakoa Avenue. What a set from Tui Leta. High, right on the money. And that block just a little too wide. I think they should be taking Harapunov's cross court. 11 kills for Rado. He leads the way. Stein also in double figures with 10. Hessenauer. He ramped that one up a bit. We're on good passes. And Jim is sure, sure drawing a lot of attention. Solberg's got to commit on him pretty much every time, go up with him, leaving Hessenauer out on the line on the right side with only one blocker. Well, that was sort of the scouting report on UCLA, right? On good passes and serve receive, they will work the middle an inordinate amount of times. Percentage-wise, Hawaii trying to do the same on occasion as Dalton Solbrick delivers once more. He now has seven kills. Solbrick, the number three kill leader right now. Rosemeyer's got seven. Leading the way, Parapunov with 11. Van Tilburg with 10. Well, here is Dalton. Diving pass by Misery Arnitz. That's dug up by Rosie. Worsley goes backside to Rado. Garland Peed unable to handle that laser. Rado proving that he can go cross court. Oh, and by the way, he can go down the line too like this. Well, you have made the comparison before, all through last year, Rado's freshman campaign. Certainly was not as regular a player night in and night out out there on the floor for Hawaii, but you know, went to work in the off season in the weight room, got the lower half of his body stronger. Yep. When he goes up there with that wide fan, it looks like you, UV. You got it. You all caught. The UV rays. I, mean, I think he's probably a couple, maybe a year away from being like UV. You hope he develops faster and sooner, but uh, he certainly has all of the tools to be like UV. I yeah. hope he's got a tape of UV somewhere sure. in his, uh, I don't know, playlist. Oh, that's a great serve by Hessenauer and Ace and UCLA within one. Yeah, it's hard to touch Yuval Cox's true brilliance out there on the floor. We're just saying that Rado at times yeah. looks kind of like yeah. No, no question. tight to the net. It's going to be played by the Bruins on the second touch. Ma'a trying to swing. Worsley goes back row to Rosie. Mid violation called against UCLA. But that one went high and tight on Garland P. Wow. And John Spraw not happy with what Oliver Martin was doing from a blocking standpoint on that last sequence. So he subs him out. In goes Ian Parrish for the first time tonight. And that is a match by Jake Arnitz. We watched Parrish practice yesterday. He hit a bomb yesterday that bounced the ceiling in gym number two. It was amazing. He's got quite a background, by the way. Yeah, no, I, you know, I, 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 will do, I will defer to you on this cool little fact. Yeah, you, go, go you go ahead. You go ahead. You got it. It's a great fact. <laughs> Sit down, folks. It's a great fun fact. There are now two players on the floor who are fluent in Dutch. Stein Van Tilburg and Ian Parrish. There you go. And who's Ian Parrish's grandfather? <laughs> oh, uh, another fun fact. Yeah, here, here, here you go. go. Here you go. No, okay. Robert Parrish? I don't know. I just, I'm taking a stab. How about Vic Butkus? <laughs> I believe. Am I wrong? Yeah, yeah. Vic Butkus. This is his grandfather. I was joking, by the way, but oh, yeah, okay. yeah, all right, okay. okay. We gotta fit those facts in just in case Oliver Martin goes back in. <laughs> 
Eight serving six, here's Stein. Layout pass by Arnitz and Rosenmeyer clobbers the overpass. Net violation called against the Bruins. Either way you slice it, point for the Bows. The look of concern from John Sprawl. Nine serving six. Perfect pass there by Arnitz. And Ma uh, we haven't seen that much tonight from either setter. He did it, with he did it early in the first set and then hasn't done it since. Normally, he's much more aggressive. And actually, you saw that uh, Ben Tilburg actually went up there and tried to help. Gassman a little bit late, but they both have been told by the coaching staff, hey, this guy loves to dump the ball. Watch out. Here's the serve by Parrish. Outside, it's Rosenmeyer. And that came in high sight on Harness. Rosenmeyer is performing target practice right now. That ball might have been out. I think he tries to go over the block, just hit it hard. And it goes over. Had Harness gotten out of the way, it would have been long gone. Ma'a. Uh -uh. D set. has been just that. Brett Rosenmeyer, 10 kills, hitting 278, and he is beasting right now here in the fourth set. Just unload. Watch this block solo here. Cross court, amazing block right there by Brett Rosenmeyer. A 6'6 junior from Virginia Beach. Hawaii up 11-7. Jimma, we haven't called his name much here as of late. Rosenmeyer comes flying in, wanted a touch. No such call. Rosenmeyer, he is feeling the adrenaline at the moment. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing about Rosie. He knows he's got to play well and not start spatching the ball out. He's got a guy right behind him, ready to go. Also, sure. Mataltia. He played great volleyball in the fall. Um, when he was rehabbing, actually, he, played, he got really good at his passing game when he played in the fall. And he came out on fire at the beginning of this year. Well, he's ready to go in case Rosie should falter at all. Another ace for Ma. That was his fourth of this match. Stein with the first touch there. Here's Rado. Off the block and out point for Hawaii. That is what makes UCLA so dangerous, no matter what your lead is, is they have the capability of scoring at the service line. You string three or four of those together, it's a whole different complexion. Exactly. Go back to the third set. Hawaii up by eight and barely wins by two. Worsley blasts that one wide. I tell you what, the fans in the front row are some of the more courageous people we have. <laughs> here on the island of Oahu, including that lovely lady. Who is that? I nice. think a former Rainbow Wahine That's right, right there. Rainbow Wahine legend, Beth McLaughlin. Rosenmeyer blocked and roof. That was Arnitz next to Jimma. And look at here, it's a one point differential. Leads disappear quickly when you're playing against UCLA. There's just no sure thing when these two teams play. High toss by Misery. That is service error number 20 for UCLA. Yeah, sitting in the front row, sitting on the floor at a men's volleyball game. You gotta keep your head on the swivel. If you're holding a beverage, you gotta watch it very closely. Ma -a, high and away to Arnitz, dug up by Worsley. Stein with the bump set. Rado from behind the line. Ma -a popped it up. Misery sends it over the net. Free chance for Hawaii. Worsley high and away to Stein. Blocked and roofed. Jimma does it again. Hawaii was playing through it, thinking that they had popped it up, but it had been called down already. And this ball gets to the floor, and I think Tui gets it. Now yeah. it's on the ground. Good call by Wayne Lee and Ernie Ho. So a missed opportunity there on the free ball for Hawaii. Here's Jimma. At 
what point do you consider starting to make changes in terms of how you approach some of those bombs or maybe trying to go more floater oriented? When, when do you start thinking about that in a match like this? You know, I, I think that John Spraw will not think about it until the errors reach 29. That's the last time they played, you know, against uh, was it Irvine, I know it was a played Ohio State. 29 errors, they still win in five. So this men's game is so much about the serve and bombing it that, and, and getting, uh, getting either the other team out of system by force, forcing a bad pass or getting an ace either way. But here's another interesting stat that we, didn't, we haven't looked at yet. Why out digging UCLA right now, 35 to 19. Worsley with 13 of the wise 35 digs. You rarely see that kind of disparity in digging. 35 19. Wow. Pass by Rosenmeyer. High and away. It's SVT. The touch played off the net, and it's going to be returned. Free chance here for Hawaii. Can they cash this one in? It's Rado. Off the block, popped up by Worsley. So Tui sets up Stein. He goes high hands and down for a Hawaii point. And the Rainbow Warriors are first to 15 in the fourth. Stein continues to grind it out. 11 kills, Hawaii up two. Three players in double figures in kills for Hawaii. It is Rado Parapunov with 13 to lead the Bows, Stein von Tilburg 11, Brett Rosenmeyer 10. That is a crucial triumvirate of contributors offensively for Hawaii, as will be the case all season. And tonight, while not all hitting pristine percentages, they are the more prolific hitters in this match as Arnitz goes deep corner and in. Again, Jake Arnitz coming off of the bench here for the most part this season. Part of that because of the play of Christian Hessenauer. Also the, the change in schematics this season for UCLA. Ran a 6-2 in previous seasons. Kind of changed the, the flow a little bit. Exactly. Changed things considerably. Arnitz. A soft serve. Stein dug up by Arnitz. Ma uh, how about that bump set to misery? Dug up by Tui over the net, but out. And it's a point for UCLA. And out of that timeout, the Bruins score two straight. And they have tied things up at 15. And we got ourselves a battle here in the fourth. And this crowd of 4,700 starting to get, you know, get a little more excited and nervous about the Bruins coming back. And let's go Bose champ in place. Alas, the ill-timed service error. Hurting UCLA once more. That is 22 errors for the Bruins. Stein now to serve. Pass by Peed. Outside. It's Misery. Popped up by Panapunov. Diving bump set Worsley. Stein! Is the one who gets all the credit there. Great dig by Rado. Pops it up. Worsley chases after it. Good bump set. And, Ra and Stein Van Tilburg, ever the alert one, out of the back row to get that kill. 12 kills for Stein. Here he is to serve again. Arnitz with the pass. Ma -a goes middle set, and it's put down by Ian Parrish. 16 serving 17. We are getting into the nitty gritty here in the fourth. And Parrish did a great job here following his center. Goes all the way over, almost to the sideline, knowing that, you know what, there's a chance that this guy, Mike Amah, might back set and give me the ball. So, little Bruin hitters were always ready for the unexpected. Great job by Ian Parrish. So, Oliver Martin back in and behind the line to serve. Two hand pass by Tui. Put over! Is his father, Roger, brother Christine. They run a volleyball club in Moraga, Northern California. Yeah, they just flew in from Moraga. They may have been on my flight. I don't know. That's right. Oh, that's right. You flew in from Moraga. <laughs> that's right.
We're at a basketball game up there. Christine celebrating her birthday. She is the Dean Kinesiology at Diablo Valley College over there in the Bay Area. And that was just a smash by Dylan Misery. Misery's got a heavy arm, doesn't he? He also played three years of golf in high school. He played number one on his, on his team in, in New York. Also played in the junior national team in 17 and in 16. High school All-American. You have a son who played golf at UCLA, correct? Yeah, he did play a little golf there. Maha into the net. It bites the Bruins again. Four service aces and now five service errors. He takes chances. He takes chances when he goes back from behind that service line. And all, more than often than not, he causes trouble. And Worsley sends it long, so Hawaii returns the favor. Hawaii has 15 service errors compared to UCLA's 23. And now it is mystery, very capable of causing havoc from behind the line. Good pass there by Tui, though. Here's Rado against a double block, and he just gobbles it up. That is a solid block. That's an hour and Jimmo. Four hands across, and somehow Rado sees them take his cross courts, and he goes down the line. Tough to dig that one. 14 kills for Pato Punov. 20 serving 18. Pass tight to the net. One hand set by Ma'a, touched over by Jimma. It's Stein trying to play the block. Hawaii still with it. Stein, a full swing this time, and the triple block just eclipses the sun. And it was Arnitz getting most of it. 6'8", 6'9", 6'5", it's a big block up there for the Bruins. Stein had nowhere to go, that set a little tight to the net. All he could do is maybe wipe it off the end blocker. So 19 serving 20. Hawaii with two timeouts left, UCLA with one timeout. As we get into the red zone. Dane and Jimmo with the serve. Tui, another perfect pass. Backside, Rado, high hands, popped up in the air by Ma'a. So Misery sets up Hessenauer. Two-handed in the air by Tui Leto. Here's Stein going high hands. Diving save, Misery to no avail. The kill for SVT. Hawaii back up two. That time Stein was facing an equally difficult block. That time he chose the high hands route instead of, instead of the low seam, and it worked. Do I need to tell you these next four points will be difficult to get? <laughs> Let me remind you, these are really hard to get. Good dig there. Hawaii trying to play it back to its side. Worsley does. Here's Hessenauer over the double block. That popped up by Solbry. Cross court set it to Rado. Right hands it. Gets blocked. Bumped up there by Gassman. Rado. This time goes into the antenna. No, they'll say it's over the block and into the antenna. That is a point for Hawaii. That was a huge point. Hawaii really scrappy during that play. John Spra is going to use his last timeout right here. And the Bruins are backed up against the ropes. Final timeout utilized by John Spra. Let's take another look at it. Ronald going off the block and out. Hawaii up three, 22-19. Drop the first set, 25-23. And what was an exhibition of offensive firepower in set two, Hawaii would actually rally late to win that one, 25-23. In the third, the Rainbow Warriors led by as many as eight only to win by two, 25-23. And it is a tight one once again here in the fourth. They barely hung on in the third after having that commanding lead. And in the fourth, uh, I expected a little more letdown by Hawaii, but no, they've, they've actually played some pretty good volleyball here in the fourth set. Mostly on defense, again, 42 digs by Hawaii. 
Here's the Joe going on the other side of the net. Now, this is legal as long as you return it outside of the antenna. Correct. Good set for that time from Pete. Long sequence. We have seen some lengthy rallies here in this match, and it ended with Dorado put down. He now has 15 kills, but you look at some of the numbers. UCLA out blocking Hawaii, 13 and a half total team blocks to seven. They're out hitting Hawaii by only nine percentage points, but 245 to 236. But Hawaii out digging UCLA, 42 to 24. We've already mentioned all of those ill-timed service errors for the Bruins. Middle set, Martin sends it long. And Hawaii up four, and no more timeouts. No more timeouts for UCLA and John Sprawl. Well, they've got to play it out from here, or hope for a challenge, which turns into a timeout. You can use that. Harnitz with the pass, Ma on backside, Hessenauer blocked. And it won't be returned. Give the roof to Hawaii, and they will rise at the Stan Sheriff Center. Goes high and away to Arnitz, high hands. Saved by Stein over the net. Ma out to Arnitz again. Blocked and Ruth. Rado and Gaston end it. And Hawaii wins it in four. You're going to get a lot of credit to Stein Van Tilburg for keeping that rally alive, Kanoa. Looked like it was going to be a ball that was down, but here's our cool play from Fujitsu. Stein Van Tilburg popping it up, keeping the rally alive, giving Hawaii a chance to score point number 25. And that was pretty cool, Roof. Huh? What do you think? A splendid finish to the action tonight as Hawaii comes back from down 1 0 in the match to beat UCLA in four, delivering the Bruins their first loss of the season. UCLA was 3-0 against top 10 opponents this year until tonight. And Hawaii managed to win their 26th straight home match. Not an easy task against this Bruin team that is very, very good. And again, I'll say again, these two teams could meet again in May in the final match. For the NC2A. How, yeah, about the, uh, how about the best part of all of this? We do it again on Sunday. That's going to be even better. It'll be fun. Bank of Hawaii presents the players of the match. Michael Ma'a, a stat sheet filler. 37 assists, three kills, three blocks, five digs, four service aces. And Joe Worsley, 36 assists, two kills, four blocks, 14 digs, and a service ace. You called it, Chris. You said that the center play tonight was brilliant. Oh, it really was, and that's why they got the players of the match. The two teams, these two guys lead their teams. They're solid all-around players. They can do every phase of the game. And the best part is probably is that they make the other players around them better, especially in giving their hitters one-on-one -on -one situations. Hawaii now 7-0. Scott Robbs is with Charlie Wade. All right, congratulations, Coach. We talked about this being your first big test of the season, and you guys passed. Yeah, you know, I, I don't quite give us an A, but we did talk about this kind of being like a kind of a midterm. It, it's certainly not going to define our season. You know, it's not our last chance to get into a national championship, but it's a significant step forward. So proud of the guys. A lot of hard work been going on and, you know, a little validation for the progress we're making and, and uh, happy to get a win. You know, I thought it was a pretty even match. If you look at the scores, it was pretty even. But one thing you did better than them tonight was dig the volleyball. Yeah, you know, we had a, a pretty significant advantage in the digs. I think 43 to 24. But, uh, yeah, I mean, something we kind of pride ourselves on. We know Hawaii fans love tough defense. We talk about it. We want to, you know, put a show on for our fans, too. And uh, it helps you score points as well. So uh, nice effort from the guys tonight defensively. All right, Charlie. How do you top this on Sunday? Well, again, for us, you know, it's just so early in the season and it's there's significant matches. You just keep trumping out and, you know, trying to improve. 
I mean, we really are putting different pieces in and still seeing how many guys we can get out there that can contribute. So uh, nice to get the win and, and just looking to improve at this point. Congratulations. Thank you. Aloha. Good luck, Chris. Back over to you. Thanks a lot, Scott. Final turnstile numbers, 4,328 tonight. They would love to fill it a little bit more even on Sunday. Uh, you know if you come down to the Stan Sheriff Center, you're going to be watching top-level intercollegiate volleyball. Yeah, this, this team is uh, really fun to watch. And, you know, and if, this, if Hawaii doesn't win on Sunday, if somehow the Bruins should somehow win, my local boy, Mike Amato, will put on a show for sure. Yeah. So either way, it's a win-win all the way around. Uh, five o'clock though start instead of the seven o'clock time that's normal. So Hawaii improves to seven and zero on the season. UCLA drops to seven and one. Stick around for the post game show. They will break things down as the Rainbow Warriors pull off a signature victory here in this young 2018 season. That'll do it for us though here courtside for CMAC, Chris McLaughlin, I'm Kanoa Leahy. Till next time everybody, we bid you aloha from the Stan Sheriff Center.